The Brothers Wild is in Southern California, but this time at a different location, on the hunt for the elusive sea hare. Now, there are two species here. They're actually a type of underwater slug. It's time to locate the biggest, slimiest creature on the planet. Whoa, and that is a big one. There's just so many to see here. Look at this. It's super slimy. Oh, feels like. But it's no blob. This is called a sea cucumber. Now, I'm not sure which species, but I know they are strange. Look at all these tube feet. There must be thousands. I'm not sure which end is its butt, but I know one thing's for sure that it can squirt water out of its butt as a defense mechanism. Holy cow, this thing is squishy. Wow, what a cool find. See you later, buddy. That's why you always gotta look closely, because the most unnoticeable things might be the coolest. Are you ready for this? This is the largest slug or snail in the world. This is the black sea hare. Oh, he's so small. Oh. Now this is actually a species of sea hare. Now there are many species of sea hare and they call them that because they have these tufts on their head they called rhinophores, but it looks like a rabbit's ears or a hare's ears. Holy wow, cow. and it is super heavy too. My arms are like shaking. And see this thing that my thumb's next to? That's a siphon. When it's underwater, they use that to circulate water through their body so they can breathe. Look at this, that's its head. Oh my gosh, and it is super slimy, sticky, and quite heavy. Do you mind if I have a turn? Oh, holy cow. Oh, oh my gosh. This thing is a beast. Now one of the coolest things about sea hares, they have almost no predators because this mucus on their skin is super distasteful, but they can also ink. However, the black sea hare is not capable. Whoa! And that is a big one. This is the coolest species in Southern California. Wow! And it is so sticky. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, it's setting back. That this is a fine. Look at this. We have just found another sea hare, but it's a different species. This is a California sea hare, much smaller than the black sea hare, and it's also a brown color. And look, you can really see the rhino fours on this one. Wow. It really looks like a rabbit's ears. Although, you have to be careful handling these California sea hares because they release a dark purple ink. It's really gross. This is how it works. Against this top predator, the spiny lobster, once it starts attacking it, it will release the ink, the ink and it will clog the nose of the spiny lobster, disabling its sensory organs. That is so cool. Feels like I am holding not a slug, just pure slime ball. It's Look weird. It's not as slimy as the black sea here, though. That is so cool. We're going to set him back. What an awesome find here in Southern California. Great job, Jameson. Nice. Under this rock, we've just found a bunch of brittle stars. Now, you probably have heard of their closest relatives, which are their cousins, sea stars. That's right. They may look like octopuses, but brittle stars' closest relative are sea stars. Although, unlike using, having stiff arms and tube feet to move, um, brittle stars have long octopus-like arms where they crawl over the rocks. Oh my god, super cool. There's just so many to, to see here. Look at this. These are all banded brittle stars. If you just flip rocks, especially ones that are in the shade, you're gonna find yourself a brittle star army. All right, let's set them back. Look at those creepy crawlers go back in there. Nice. Wow, high five. Brittle stars. 
always a treat in the Thai food. This area is a sea hare haven. Not only have we found both species, but now we have found a mating pair. Now, a secret that you don't know about sea hares is that they are hermaphrodites, meaning they are both male and female in the same body. So, as they mate, they will both become pregnant and lay eggs. Isn't that strange? Let's keep going. I think Jackson has another one. Well, here's one right here with eggs. They call them spaghetti noodle eggs because it looks like a platter of spaghetti. Check that out. Now, a single sea hare, like I might have said before, I can't remember, lays up to 500 million eggs a year. So, let's say only 0.1% make it to adulthood. That's still 10,000 more sea hares that make it from just one. Although, unlike a plate of spaghetti, those eggs, I highly doubt, are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is just a terrible sight. What we have here is a lingcod. It's a type of fish. It's got a hook stuck in its mouth with this metal wire. It looks like they use for fishing. probably been in there for a little bit. We're gonna try and rescue him and get the hook out. You'll see the results. We're gonna cut the camera real quick. We were able to save this guy. Hopefully, he'll make it as we release him back into the ocean. What a beautiful fish. Cowabunga! Cool. All right. Wow, what a day this has been here in Southern California. We've just showed you the two species of sea hare that inhabit these tide tubes, the California sea hare and the black sea hare. Not to mention, we saved a stranded fish and came across other creatures too. It's days like this that remind us of how important and incredible these tide pools really are. Don't forget to hit low tide and explore them for yourself. I'm James from Hawkins Kimmel. And I'm Jackson Hawkins Kimmel. And together, we are the Brothers Wild. Bye, everybody. Keep it wild. <laughs>